Hi guys, my name is Hanley, and today my presentation is going to be about exercise rates. Did you know that only 18.5% of all Americans exercise once or twice a week, granted by statisticsbrain.com? What I mean by exercising is that actually vigorously, actively burning hundreds of calories and dramatically increasing your heart rate. Yeah, sadly that's a, sadly, that's a surprisingly low percentage. But after this presentation, I guarantee each and every one of you will feel more encouraged and to exercise regularly. Not only is exercising associated with losing weight, it can have many health benefits as well, such as preventing from prevention from the following. Heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, osteoporosis, back pain, and many more. In a couple in a couple and easy memo that I will confess, I will confess to you the secrets of how to exercise effectively and why exercising is good for you. So here are some ways of how to have a vigorous yet beneficial workout. The first one is being consistent and by having daily routines. So daily routine would be like waking up in the morning and having a set gym time, a gym time. So it'll be like waking up and then like going to the gym at a certain time with a friend every single day. So it's really important to have a set routine. Next is to set a realistic goal that are attainable. So realistic goals would be like goals that are um, not easy to achieve but in, over time. Like for example, I'm gonna lose um, 35 pounds in this week. That's not really realistic because that's really hard to do. So a realistic goal would be like, um, within this month, I'm trying my best to exercise as much as I can so I can lose 35 pounds. Next is having a dedicated buddy or workout friend. I don't know for you, but for me, whenever I work out, I like to have a buddy or a friend because it always motivates me to always like strive for more and always like encourage myself to work harder. And then my friend also, on the other side, he pushes me to like work harder and always like stay on task. Obtain a gym membership or go to a nearby park. So usually what most people will do is that they will obtain a gym membership because um, the gym has a treadmill, they have weights they can work out with. So obtaining a gym membership will cost money and and if some people don't want to do that, they can go by nearby park. So what you can do at the park is that you can run around the park, you can do miles, you can jog, you can walk. Even walking is exercising because everything, your body is moving. So if you, want, if, if you can't afford a gym, then nearby park is a great resource. Next is hiring a professional coach or trainer. Hiring a coach or trainer also from, requires a lot of money, but then what, they, what the trainer and coach do is that they identify your weaknesses and they, become, they, get, become, they make it become a strength. So like for example, if I'm weak for, um, for example, cardio, they make me do more cardio. Okay, next is being, always being happy and motivating, motivated to do something you like. So the reason why you exercise is because, not because um, you, want, you need to do it, because you want to do it. So always be motivated to do something you like, such as um, like having, taking a favorite sport or go hiking, like Lee said. It'd be a really nice workout. So next is having a healthy diet and making better choices of food. So after usually a really good workout, um, you don't want to go to McDonald's or go to a fast food place and consume the calories that you just burned because that would be a waste. So having a healthy diet and better choice would be like eating more vegetables, eating more fruits, consuming smoothies, and more vitamins and minerals. And also is um, do teenage workouts because it eventually add up. So a teenage workout would be like even parking a car in fifth floor intentionally because Taking, taking 10 flights of stairs is a great way of having a good exercise. And also, um, since we're in college, a lot of college students walk around. So even walking around the college campus a few times a day is a good workout too. Um, okay, so after knowing how to have an effective, beneficial workout, I will now demonstrate why individuals need to work out. These are all the amazing health benefits individuals can get by just exercising 30 minutes a day, not more, only 30 minutes. So the first one is that it promotes strength, promotes strengthening bones. So when you exercise or when you work out with weights, what it does is that it really tears your muscle down because you're, um, you're kind of damaging it. But that's a good thing because a few days later, your muscles can recover, and so your muscles can recover, and so it will strengthen your bones. Next is intense intense exercising shows signs of alleviating, alleviating stress and depression. So usually, like um, we're college students, we have a lot of stress in our, in our body, and so because of homework or tests and stuff, so Exercising is a great way to relieve it. What we do is that you can like relieve out all your energy, relieve your stress, and it's a great way. Yeah. So the next one is prevents from getting um, back pain. So like again, I said, it strengthens your bones, so it can pre prevent you from getting back pain. <coughs> okay. The next one is lowering blood pressure, because um, when you're exercising, you're, you're your body is constantly moving, you're increasing your heart rate, your blood is gushing, 
So all these factors contribute to high lowering of the blood pressure. The next would be decreasing colon cancer. In addition, we can um, reduce a body fat burning by burning calories. So when you exercise, you burn a lot of calories, like hundreds of calories, but burning fat is a hard thing because uh, for burning fat, it's a little bit harder, so you you're, you need to do like special kind of workout in order to burn certain types of fat. Another main benefit is that it can boost your energy level throughout the day. So like I said before, like um, how when you're exercising, your body's always constantly moving, your heart is pumping, your blood is gushing. Those all contribute to boosting your energy level. So when you're feeling tired or when you're feeling stressed out, it's a great way to increase your energy level. And next is promoting better sleep at night. So usually for me, after a really good workout, a really exhausting workout, I would feel, I'd feel really tired. And so all I want is a better night's sleep. So by actually exercising more vigorously, my body actually gets better night's sleep because my body needs time to recover. And the next one is curing sickness for letting harm, curing sickness by letting all the harmful things out. So when a sick person, when a person is really sick and all they do is lay in bed and not exercise and just take medicine, but I think I find out that a good way to, um, to I guess, to recover from sickness is actually exercising because when you're exercising, you actually sweat all the bad stuff out. And so the very the most important one is also working out. Is working out, exercising is fun and creates better relationships with your friends. So. When you work out, it not only creates a better relationship, but it also like you guys are doing things together. You guys are having bonding activities, and you guys are constantly connecting. So after explaining how to have a successful and effective workout, I hope you understand that exercising and working out is a big part of life. It will it will enhance your lifestyle so that you can have a longer and happier, healthier life. Even though you may be a busy person with a chaotic schedule, I am 100% sure that you can accumulate at least 30 minutes a day for a dedicated, vigorous workout. Because at night, you can go to sleep, you finally go to sleep with less stress knowing you did something effective for your body today. Lastly, never give up because you are just, one, you're just a stepping stone closer to becoming stronger and living